Hey guys, Andy here, and welcome to my August 2020 update video. Coming up. Alright, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here. Welcome you once again to my August 2020 update video for, you guessed it, August 2020. Woo. So yeah, as always, with these monthly update videos, I'm gonna go over some personal life stuff as well as YouTube stuff. So, <sighs> breathe in that good ass prana. And as always, let's just jump right into it. The first thing I wanna talk about is YouTube stuff. So, I know I've been a little off platform as far as talking about life and things, and we'll be getting into that. But I am proud of the um, feedback that I got from my video essay that I did for my film class this past semester. Been receiving a lot of good uh, complimentary um, comments, messages, things like that. Uh, really appreciate it. There have been some people that, you know, suggest that maybe I should change the direction of this channel and do more of that video essay type content in the future. But right now, I like to keep this channel as more of my personal slash miscellaneous type channel. So. Uh, the idea is to give you monthly updates as well as just for videos that I shoot that don't really fall into the other category of my other channels. But that being said, I have been considering doing a type of video essay channel, essentially, just having it be its own dedicated space. And I, I was thinking about doing this more in terms of like anime, but with the positive response from my movie essay, um, I might be broadening the topic a little bit to just do video essays in general of stuff that I find interesting rather than just sticking with, oh, it's the guy that does the anime essays versus, oh, it's the guy that does the film essays. Why not just do video essays, right? I know it's probably gonna kill that old search engine optimization which loves to uh, niche everybody down, but Bug it. <laughs> so that is something I am considering. Uh, I haven't really thought of the, the brand for it yet. That's kind of my main sort of qualifier when I'm thinking about starting up a new channel. I've gotta have a name for it, something hooky, something that's easy to remember, and it just automatically is something I'd make, basically. So once I get that all settled, then uh, we'll be moving forward with it soon. Um, I'm not really planning as far as like a schedule for that sort of thing because, well, you know my content, right? <laughs> kind of is what it is. But uh, definitely want to be making more of those video essays. I really did enjoy making that one actually, even though it was on a bit of a time crunch and I pulled an all-nighter for it. But the end result definitely speaks for itself, I'd say. So in addition to that, um, as far as the other channels goes, I know my Creator 101 podcast, which is my, you know, at times recording my newest channel. I know I haven't really made any new episodes of it lately. Uh, that's mostly just due to um, the semester wrapping up as well as work ramping up, which we'll get into in the personal life section later. But anyway, I am looking into um, interviewing some of my creator friends. I have a couple in mind that I want to uh, pick the brains, learn a little something, something from, uh, but it's just a matter of timing. Basically, you know, I gotta line my schedule up with theirs and uh, pick a good day to uh, get out there and uh, get that interview in. So um, I do have plans for that channel. It's not abandoned or anything. It's just, you know, more is coming soon, basically. Now, as for my um, video editing channel, edited by the Andy Son, I do have a couple new ideas for it. I always have like a little sketch pad, I guess, of different ideas or uh, video tutorials that I have stored away in like a folder on my computer. And uh, whenever I'm feeling a little frisky and want to make a tutorial, I just go through that whole list, pluck one out, oh, here we go, and uh, blammo. So yeah, kind of is what it is for that channel. And as for my Andy Japandi channel, um, that's a pretty interesting tale. I do say so myself. Um, thing is with it is um, you know, I've really been enjoying doing the Mr. Peachy type content, the Board in Japan series. Uh, it's just something I kind of did as a bit of like counterculture 
to stuff like with uh, Mr. Yabaton and and things like that, and also just kind of a way for me to vet my frustrations with the uh, you know vlogger community, not just the J vloggers, but vlogging in general, where everybody has to be all nice and upbeat and happy and hey guys, you know, put on the YouTube face and all that shit. You know, to me, Mr. Peachy is complete like antithesis to that sort of wacky type, uh, you know, hybro video culture, I guess. And uh, it's just been so easy to make those videos because like, I'm basically, it's kind of just an experimental thing for me, <laughs> essentially. It allows me to just really have freedom with uh, the type of stuff that I make. And I know it's not everybody's cup of peach tea, as it were, but uh, the far majority of you guys have really been loving the creativity and the editing and the pacing and all that from those videos. So definitely thinking about doing more. Um, I'm not gonna turn the Andy Japani channel into the Mr. Peach channel, so <laughs> we are gonna be probably pumping the brakes on him for a little bit after I get this next video out. And then maybe just like an every once in a while sort of thing, just put out a new episode of uh, Border Japan with uh, Mr. Peachy. But, gotta get back to my bread and butter as far as Andy Japandy goes and making some of that quality Japan content. And I have a couple episodes ready and waiting to be edited, so I just filmed one today actually. I'm really looking forward to this one. I think it's gonna be a very interesting video and it's definitely gonna help a lot of people out, especially if you have a little bit of coin, you know what I'm saying, hint hint. So anyway, that's about all I wanna say for the youtube -y stuff. So let's get on with the real star of the show, right? The personal life section. I haven't really been saying a whole heck of a lot about my situation on social media. Definitely really haven't been talking about it on YouTube until now. Um, but I do have some good news and bad news as far as my stay here in Japan goes. Now we'll start off with the bad news. So this past semester, uh, let's go over some grades. Um, I got an A, I got a C, I got a C minus, and brace yourselves, I got an F. So, bad news is I failed a class that was required to, uh, to graduate this semester at Lakeland. And I was pretty bummed about it. Uh, it was math, for those wondering. Um, historically, not uh, really good at math. So it really comes as no surprise, but uh, basically, after midterms, I really lost track, especially with that class. Um, it was really hard for me to, to bounce back with it. Um, and I even like looked up stuff online on like how to do the kind of stuff we were doing, and it made me even more confused. And you know, when I talked to my professor about it, um, just his approach wasn't quite enough for me to really. Um, learn what I needed to learn as far as you know the process of solving the problems not just to solve like a specific problem you know if, the, if that makes any sense so because of this failing and because um, I got two C's one of them C minus and it wasn't really enough to help kind of pull things up um, my GPA this semester has dipped below standards but because I did so good the previous semester, um, my overall cumulative GPA is still in good standing. So I talked with uh, some people over at Lakeland and fortunately was able to straighten some things out. And now we'll move on to the good news, right? So the good news is I'll be able to retake the math class and three other classes that are needed for my perspective major in business administration once uh, Lakeland kind of gets the ball rolling on that, um, which hopefully will be at the end of the year, or by the end of the year, I should say. So the, gr the good news, the great news, I should say, is that your boy's able to stay in Japan, at least until the end of the year. And uh, once we get to that point, we'll, uh, we'll go from there. But 2020, despite all else that's going on in the world right now, is looking to be a pretty good year 
for your boy, the Andy Sand Samadesh stuff. And uh, I'm so excited to be able to spend the rest of the year, at least, here in Japan. Um, just um, so, so grateful, so thankful for everything. I've also gotten some really good freelancing opportunities as well. So I was able to work with a local children's author to help design an e-learning course. Um, managed to complete that before the end of the semester, in fact. So it was all launched and ready to go. And uh, got the, uh, the most amount of money I've ever gotten from a single gig before, which is really, really nice and definitely helped me out especially during these months when uh, the GI Bill isn't paying me because I'm not in school, I'm on break, uh, at least until next month. So just a short little summer break, but it's fine by me. But in any event, uh, because of that, it led to another gig working for a local school out here, being their videographer and uh, showing the parents what the kids are doing, what they're learning all day, stuff like that. So. Really happy to uh, be a part of that team and to help them out and to really um, work with uh, with kids. Um, it's not something I'm really really used to, to be honest with you, because um, I'm used to like whenever I'm out there filming stuff. You know, I'm usually filming like stationary objects, so I'm usually like planning my shots and being very meticulous and like getting the camera and just kind of slowly kind of gliding over it or doing like the little rotate sort of thing to get that cool like 3D sort of sort of look there. Uh, but with kids, it's like hurting cats, basically. <laughs> so there's absolutely no way in hell I'm gonna get a kid to like, hey, Shotokun, stay there while I do some video and stuff. It's like, psh, that kid's like all the way on the other <laughs> end of the classroom running around and do all kinds of crazy kooky stuff. So. It has really helped improve my uh, my shooting, which is something I haven't really been doing a whole, he whole heck of a lot of. Um, mostly just behind the desk um, editing stuff. But uh, yeah, actually being out in the field and especially with very um, active guests that I'm shooting, um, it's really helping me to uh, learn a different style of not only video editing, but also shooting as well. So it's less meticulous and planned out and more just kind of spontaneous in the moment. I'm um, looking at a lot of like old school children's shows, kind of get some inspiration as far as like different camera works and things like that. And I watched an old episode of Zubamofu. Zubamofu. Zabamofu. I think that's how it's pronounced. And uh, it had a lot of quick cuts and movements and really fast movements and things like that to keep the kids interested. So, you know, I don't feel quite as bad for having some fast camera movements to kind of, you know, help capture everything and, uh, you know, keep it in a nice short two to five minute package, you know, slap some music on there, call it a day. So really feeling excited about it. I'm um, learning a whole heck of a lot. And plus, you know, even though I don't really think I'm like a, a kid's person, you know, I was, you know, <laughs> you know me, I'm kind of, kind of standoffish for, for stuff like that, but you can't help but uh, feel really happy around them. You know, they're just super active and very optimistic. And it's just like, I could be in like the worst mood, but uh, once I get in there and, you know, start shooting the kids with my camera, obviously, um, <laughs> Uh, I just can't help but uh, feel really happy and just, you know, walk out of there at the end of the day. Knees hurting like all get out, like Jesus Christ. Uh, your boy gotta lose some of that uh, Kelowna Chan World Tour chub, if you know what I'm saying. Oh my God, going up them stairs and stuff. Whew. Gonna be losing some damn weight, I'll tell you that. But uh, it's, all, it's all good. It's all gonna be good for me. Uh, not just in the chubbage, but uh, also going to be stacking some uh, okane in the bank as well. So um, the job definitely is very generous with the pay. So feel really good about that. And uh, if all things go according to plan, like, you know, if I work just uh, twice a week at least, 
then I'll be able to match what I make uh, working or going to school full time on the GI Bill. So if I can get, you know, two to three days a week, even during the school week, which is totally feasible, then uh, I'll be able to put some money away and uh, also have a little bit to help cover down during uh, months where the GI Bill isn't uh, coming in in full, like during breaks or coming in on a semester. It's usually when it's at its lowest because, you know, there's days that you're not in school and also during these break periods, not making any money. <laughs> so uh, this couldn't have come at a better time. And uh, I'm so excited to be uh, doing something I love, making them videos and uh, getting paid for it, not having to uh, do some other real job as well. So yeah, things are definitely looking up. And also, and I uh, can't really talk too much about this, but there have also been other opportunities presented to me in terms of making them vids. So uh, definitely a lot of opportunities for your boy, Andy Sansamadishta on the horizon. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm so excited. You know, just even just thinking about it right now, it's, you know, filling me with a lot of that, like adult happiness, if that makes any sense. You know how there's like kid happy where it's like, oh my God, life is great and I'm so happy. That's sort of like elated happiness. And then there's the adult happiness, which is just that kind of nice, kind of just satisfaction. You know, just having a nice cool beer at the end of a long work week, sitting back, just watching the ocean, watching the sunrise, just sit back chilling, watch some TV, just adult happiness. And that's, that's kind of where I'm at right now, man. Like, uh, things are definitely on the up and up and, uh, can't wait to uh, take you guys on the journey with me as well. So I know I've rambled and raved long enough, so I think we'll, uh, we'll end things here. So with all that said, guys, this is the Andy Sun. It's out for now, and as always, and forever, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.